I'm gonna say this is Caleb, and that's gonna be your segue to start talking. You'll be like, yeah, I'm Caleb, and welcome to Uncut Angling. Okay, yeah, okay? gotcha. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to be up here jigging up some rainbows, and we're in Northern Manitoba. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like you don't have enough lines, but. What the heck? Looks like you're on. What? I, I had that two feet below the ice. Welcome to Uncut Angling. We just hooked up. <laughs> it's the middle of March and a lot of people are sick of winter. The best ice fishing of the whole year is just getting started. And we do not even have summer fishing on our mind right now. Let me come around you and line them from this side. Maybe uh, even go onto the other side of the seat so I can get in there a little closer. That was literally three feet under the ice. I didn't even have it down there. We're staying at Moak Lodge here. Oh, oh, it's a giant! It's a giant! Oh my word! Get in here closer, Jay. You in here? You got it? Oh, oh it's a giant! Oh man! Freaking nice. rights! We oh, yeah. are at Moak Lodge. This is in northern Manitoba. There's all sorts of amazing ice fishing opportunities. This is a gorgeous rainbow trout, but we got pike, walleye, whitefish. You want to grab that hook? Can you see it? And there we go. Look at those cheeks. Wow. Beautiful. Pretty rare to have a rainbow filling a hole. That's like what you'd expect from a lake trout. Nice. We're yes. trying to film a show intro and he just took a <laughs> giant rainbow, man. Good job. So we kind of look like bumpkins here, sitting in the middle of nowhere. Truth be told, we spent a ton of time this morning setting up and it was with the aid of this little jobby right here. That is an underwater camera and there it is in comparison size to my iPhone. So that just shows you how small this is and that makes it convenient enough to actually use because so many people that have an underwater camera get almost no use out of it. What we did is we started drilling. We're punching holes coming off the shoreline, thick weed bed all the way out, okay? So the weed bed's going on seemingly forever. Pop that screen open, comes on automatically. I'm just gonna press the record button and now out of interest sake, it's recording everything you can see. There's the cameraman, hi Jay. So I'm gonna drop it down here and just show us a demonstration this is still in the middle of a thick weed bed. Get that line out. And this is what it looks like. I mean, I'll overlay the footage and you'll see, but it's just, it's all a thick mat of weeds. So that's no good. And that's what happened for almost 200 yards offshore. And we're buzzing along. And right here, you can see no weeds. We've got a barren bottom, that's maybe sand, maybe clay, but there's absolutely no weeds on the bottom there. So where we're fishing, where Caleb camped out and we're catching rainbows, see that line? That 50-50 line. Oh, I got a trout, oh, is that you? I don't have a trout. No, there is a trout down there. Is there? Yeah, I can see him on my screen. That's nice. Little guy, you can see him swimming around down there. Is but he? that 50-50 line, as you can see, there's two trout down there is everything that we took the time to find this line and set up right over top of it with the aid of this camera. Fits in my pocket, move along, and there it is. There's the trout. Caleb's hooked up. Lost you lose it. it. Lost it, was a little guy. People are typically wanting to use underwater cameras after they see something on their flasher to confirm what kind of fish it is or whatever. We're not using this to see fish at all, even though it worked to see fish there. We're using this to confirm bottom structure, and that is, all the difference, suddenly we're not in the middle of nowhere anymore. We're on a spot on a spot on this high traffic weed line and we're catching all sorts of rainbows. That was a beauty, eh, Caleb? Mm -hmm. mm, I know. Now that we caught that small one, let's see if we can get a bigger one. Ooh. 